Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we have the PowerBook 1400C on the table, and that is because I'm going to be testing something. But while I'm introducing what today's video will be about, I'm going to do a timed startup test of the computer. This will make sense shortly, but to save time I want to start it before I do my intro. So, I'm going to get my stopwatch up on my iPad, which is off screen. And I'm going to plug this thing in. And I'm going to wait until we get the Happy Mac on screen, because that's when the boot up really begins. And uh, as soon as that comes up on screen, I will start the clock. So, what we're doing today is we're going to be upgrading this with an SSD, but I've gone a bit risky, so we'll see if this works. So I've got the upgrade, which is this little guy. This is our adapter board. Um, on different computers, I have used a uh, MSATA adapter, because that's about the fastest you're going to be looking at. Oh man, am I going to have to get the scissors? I am. Uh, so yeah, I've used MSATA upgrades on a, well I used one on my iBook G4 and it worked great, and it's still working great to this day. But uh, for systems like these, they simply won't recognize the MSATA adapter, and your drive won't be recognized. And that's because on these early Apple laptops, and it wasn't just Apple, um, it was pretty much every manufacturer, the implementation of the IDE interface was just archaic, and a modern drive is expecting systems from the 2000s just simply won't work. So You have to go with more basic and simple adapters like this guy. It's a little teeny and cute and it has an SD card slot on it. So we are going to be using an SD card. And I've got the card as well. It's the 64 gig SanDisk card. And that is where I sort of risked it a bit because 64 gigs is pushing it quite a bit for a 1996 laptop. But the reason I went with this card instead of... My plan was to get a 32 gig, which would have been fine. Uh, but this card was literally $1 more expensive at like 10 bucks versus 9 So I couldn't help myself. <laughs> we'll see if this works. I don't need um, 64 gigs of storage on one of these. In fact, the drive I have in here now is only 6.5 gigs. Uh, but this is going in the 3400C anyway, which, depending on when I get this video out, will either be um, before or after I get the video out in the 3400C. So, if you're seeing this first, then yeah, that's on the way. Or if I put text up on the screen, it might not be. And this stupid, I hate this packaging, it will not come out. It has this little plastic bit, and it... It's supposed to have a peely thing, but it broke, and now I... SanDisk! 64 gigabytes. And that card will just stick in here. Like that, I guess. That's as far as it goes. Let's see how much faster we can push this pretty base model consumer system non-upgraded with this SSD. So, getting to the hard drive in one of these is really easy. It looks like it's difficult, that's because I'm working around the tripod. <laughs> so it looks like I had a hard time getting this off, but it's actually very easy. You just slide it to the side, then the keyboard lifts up. You could put it on the palm rest. Uh, I prefer to prop it up like that. And then the drive's right there. As you can see, I currently have an IBM Travel Star in there. All right, I can tape that down later. It's not staying in here permanently, I'm just setting it up. Now, how are we gonna re-image the OS from this? We are gonna use this guy. I could use my Roscuzzy, but this thing doesn't like the Roscuzzy very much. We're gonna use this guy, PC card compact flash adapter with this 16 gig Lexar card. I call this thing the Power Flash 16. And it has 7.6 on it. In fact, the same install that I imaged this drive from. So it will be a perfect test. It'll boot off this just fine, and then we can just copy the system folder over. 
Now this thing is also pretty slow, despite being solid state. And I think that's mainly just due to the PCMCIA bus being much slower than IDE. I don't know the specifics on that, so I could be wrong. But there we go. We are now booting off the power flash, and that's why I love that thing. Because it is so easy, these things will automatically boot off it as first priority. It's like the first thing they check. And it just works. I've never had a problem getting one of these to boot off of uh, that adapter. It's like my Mac Rescue Drive, and it's also used for file transfer. It's really useful on these PowerPC uh, power books. Oh my god. It has recognized it. That is the biggest hurdle to overcome. This just showed up on startup. I didn't click anything. But that is a really, really good thing because at this point, let's see, I'm just going to initialize this as a PowerBook SSD. <laughs> let's see if this works. Oh. There it is. PowerBook SSD. It initialized the drive. Wow. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's uh, copy the system over there. All right, uh, it, it's finished copying, and maybe it's just uh, all in my head, but it felt pretty fast. Uh, so, power flash is ejected. Let's see if it boots. I expect at this point that it will, but uh, let's see. There it goes. We are now booting off of the SD card. Uh, at this point, we're going to be bottlenecked by one of two things, that being, uh, A, the computer's speed at processing all this, the processor speed or the RAM, and B, being just the speed of the IDE bus, not being able to take full advantage, and three, maybe, I mean, this doesn't really matter on IDE, because IDE is so slow, uh, but SD cards are not, like, a true SSD, and that's why they're not really good for later systems, because, um... OS X and Windows NT can uh, leverage uh, the page file, which is basically, uh, oh, hmm, that's strange, it bombed, um, I mean, that's not too uncommon in vintage Macs, uh, in classic Mac OS, oh man, it's locked up real good, won't even reboot, control, command, oh my god, What on earth? This happens when I hit the control key. Look at this. You know what? That's where the... That's where the power... That's where it, the SD card is. Huh, I wonder... If it's shorted out against the keyboard. Oh my god, I can't get this off. There we go. Does it still happen? No, it does not. It does not still happen. Um, well, that's why you tape it down. We're, I'm going to start it like this now. That might have been what happened. It's still working, luckily. But yeah, i got to watch out for that. I'll bet it was shorting out. Short, shorted something to ground on the board here because the back of this keyboard is metal well we'll leave it like this and then I will uh, um, see if that system error happens again that's not good you can't see because I wasn't recording but it showed system error for a second and now it's uh, freezing up now it's doing that when it's trying to uh, rebuild the desktop file, so I'll reboot it one more time, and I'll try to s cancel that and see if that bypasses whatever error it is. Alright, so I managed to uh, get the stop button on that pot on the desktop file to actually work, and uh, we're up and running now.
And uh, my fingers are slightly sweaty, so now the uh, trackpad is freaking out because it's an old trackpad, and I want to go to the system profiler. There we go. And I don't know why all the icons aren't showing properly. But there we go. Same system, but it does actually feel a bit faster. But uh, the real test is going to be how quick does it start. So uh, now this certainly feels faster, but if you look... I just stopped the clock at the same point I did before. It's only a minute four seconds, so we're down about 13 seconds. But it did feel a lot faster. But we're only down 13 seconds, which is interesting. Now, what else is interesting is why all these icons are showing as the default. Hmm. Part of that's probably because I need to copy the applications folder and stuff, but I'll do that later. Alright, and I hope you all enjoyed this extra little part 1.5 of the 3400 series, just testing and validating that the SSD that I got will work in this computer. And, uh, yeah, so uh, it's already installed in here now, and uh, the next video you'll see is part 2, where I'll be uh, showing how I recapped and this whole thing, and uh, I fixed a couple... I, I fixed a broken plastic standoff reinforced some other standoffs and installed that SSD of course and uh, all that will be coming in the next video so uh, look out for that soon and uh, thank you all for watching. Bye.